Hello everyone. Welcome to part two of three of our Christmas gifting tag kit. Uh, if you missed part one, I will go ahead and put the link down in the description. And if you're on part three, then I'll link to both of them. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, hey, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Whimsy and Bling. And I have some serious FOMO about Christmas in July. I totally missed the, the boat. So we are going to do Christmas in August because we can. So let's just try to get set up. Let's see if I can zoom in. No, apparently I cannot zoom in. So hopefully y'all can see good. So this is the kit. It is three tags. Um, you get four, is it? Four of each one? I can't even remember now. Nope, you get nine tags total, three of each design. And I have made one tag out of each of the things. Here's the one we're going to focus on today, the tree. In part one, we did the deer. And in part three, we will do the star. So, I think they're really cool, but you know, I have to take the pieces and parts. These are uh, some of the cards that I made with the pieces and parts. I will go over those a little bit later after we put together some of the ones that we're going to today. I tried really, really hard to keep it simple and to not bring in a lot of extra items you know, like die cuts and stuff like that. I did use embossing folders. I also brought in the uh, white note cards and I'm not sure in this one, but in the first one, we definitely went ahead and used the uh, craft note cards. So on this, we're going to put our tree here and we're going to put the greenery that comes with the tree. I think the, oops, my leaf got bent there. And then we're going to probably stamp Merry Christmas. I think that's a good one. And then it'll go across there. And I think we'll go ahead and stamp Merry Christmas in the real red ink. And you know, I should have mentioned in the beginning, the kit comes with everything that you need and the stamps. And this one comes with um, like a twine also some glue dots, some dimensionals, and your own block. Now, because I do tend to give out or away the ink spots that it also comes with, as well as the blocks, I don't use them. I use our ergoly, ergol, ergonomic, I'm not sure how to say that word. Might have had a little too much coffee today. Uh, block. It's just easier for me to hold it. But I know that I did stamp for a long time with those blocks. And you know, I love these kits. They are so easy and they're portable. Everything goes in the box that it comes in. I know we're gonna go ahead and put this up on dimensional. So let's do that right now. I don't know, but I seem to be going through a ton of dimensionals right now. I know my next order, I need to get some more. So in case you didn't know, you know, I have the whole FOMO about Christmas in July, how it just did not seem to happen for me this year. So my thought is every Sunday, I would go ahead and do a simple stamping with a Christmas themed kit and those kits can be found in the online store and I'll provide a link down at the very bottom in the description and some of those kits have tags uh, they're tag based just like this and the the next tag one we're gonna do in a couple of weeks it is like perfect for kids to do it is very easy and they could do it. You could have um, a like get together at your neighborhood kids, or you know, if you have 
you know, your kids have a lot of friends, they could do it. I think the five to eight year old crowd might need a little bit of help if they've never done uh, a craft like this. But the nine to 12 year olds and on up, they probably will not need anything. And this, that particular tag kit, it doesn't, there's very little stamping involved. So here you go, we are done with this. And before we forget our bling, because we are all about the whimsy, all about the bling, let's go ahead and get some red festive bling on there. And there you go, we're done. Great Christmas card, it was easy. We used pieces from our kit. Let's move on to our next one. Our next one, we are using the crumb cake base, and this is the tag. The tree came out of the tag, so this is what was left, and I thought, why don't we bring in the Shaded Spruce DSP and have something that actually looks like a tree in green. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, I found it was easier to put this down and then we can put this over it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna glue it down. Ooh, I'm about ready to lose my piece of paper here, y'all. I'm gonna glue, put that down. Make sure it's in the right place. That's the beauty of liquid glue. You do have a little bit of time to maneuver things around. Now, if you wanted to, you could certainly raise that up on dimensionals. Um, I just didn't want to on this one, but you could certainly do that. And then just make sure that your tree has the DSP in the very background. And what are we gonna stamp here? You know what, we already have Merry Christmas out. We already have our real red ink out, so I think that is an awesome plan to use this again. Sometimes you just have to be simple, and that is my goal for doing these kits. And besides, I don't know about y'all, but my calendar gets kind of crazy. The more we get into fall. Now, these tags came with the kit right here, so they fit perfectly there, perfectly. Now, of course, we need to have some more. And on this one, I think we're gonna do the silver. Put one right there, and then one there and one here. You could add more bling if you wanted to, but there's a card and it's done. Now on this one, we're using uh, black and I ended up having some embossing folders out. So this I think is timeless. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but we're gonna go ahead and put that there. Probably put that up on dimensional and we have the Merry Christmas already on our block. We're gonna do that, and we're just going to cut that to size. So let's go ahead and stamp our Merry Christmas first. And what we're going to do is we're gonna line this up so that it's pretty much centered. And let's see. Of course, you know, nope, we're not gonna do dimensionals. But I lost my glue, y'all, I lost my glue. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put glue on this. Then put this down. And then we can go ahead and take our scissors and cut off it cut it off. Now, I do think because we did not do dimensionals on the tag, let's go ahead and do some on our tree.
Would you be surprised to know that I have been listening to Christmas music? <laughs> yes, I have. I have been listening to Christmas music. All right. These are pretty quick and easy cards, and a lot of them, I like had the embossing folder laying on my desk because I had been in the middle of crafting, and I thought, you know, let's just use it. So let's go ahead and do one up here, and then we'll do a couple right there. You could do so much more. You could add ribbon onto this, but I wanted to keep it simple. I wanted to try to use what was in the kit. So here are the cards that we've made. These were the ones that we made today. This one uses the painted texture background and you could stick a gift card in here. Really, that's what they're made for. You could do that. And then on this card, I wanted to point out that this is embossed in white. You use Versamark as on your stamp, and you can't really see it when you stamp it with the Versamark, but then you put the embossing powder, the white embossing powder on there, and you use the heat tool, and it embosses it. And it does not grow old for me to watch it turn from what it was into this beautiful thing. Now, silver would look spectacular but white also looks good. I might end up doing a lot of embossing um, this year. Apparently, I did not stamp anything here, but I made a little tag. I had taken a piece of paper and um, I had followed, for the most part, the outline of this tag. So for someone special, you could write a little message on the back and you could also go ahead and put a gift card in here. Now, I don't think our Merry Christmas is going to work, but there is, let's see, the With Love Would Work or the Enjoy. I think we'll go ahead and we'll stamp the Enjoy on there after this video is done. And then this is this bumple part of the tree. That is an embossing folder. So I thought it kind of looked like, uh, you know, the ornaments and stuff. So that is what we did. And it all started because we took the pieces and parts of this tag, the other two tags, and we're able to make these cards. I hope you've enjoyed watching what has been able to be created with this particular tag. And stay tuned for part three. And if you missed part one, check the, con the description below and it'll be there. And remember, Remember, we are going to do our Christmas crafting in August. Every Sunday is going to be posted. So if you haven't uh, liked my channel on YouTube, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Leave me a comment below. Tell me, do you like this set? You know, what ideas do you have now that you've seen what can be done with the kit? Thank you so much. And until next time, remember, be whimsy and add bling. Bye, y'all.